the mental illness part. We already know about that. Let's do a better job. Yes. But if they won't do that, well, all we have left is those millions who aren't voting. We got to get them all out next election, and we got to vote them out of there so that we can save our children. Because I'm sick and tired of 50 and 60 and 70 year old white men screwing up all of our lives because they're selfish and really care about nothing else but their position. And they'll say, oh, that's unpatriotic, or that's mean. No, it's freaking true. So... And that means that it's going to take a unique American determination to change it. It means that all of us are called to summon the sadness and the frustration and the anger and the outrage that we have in our hearts for those little children who died in Uvalde and so many others who have died by gun violence to channel that into democratic action to make a difference. That the governor has done nothing about that. In fact, after the massacre in El Paso, where more than 20 people were killed and more than 20 injured, Governor Abbott said he was going to make it harder for these kinds of massacres to happen again. Instead, he made it easier for dangerous people to get dangerous weapons in their hands. Hold him out! And listen, I'll tell you what the Congress is going to do in the House of Representatives when we go back this week. We're going to pass red flag laws because we need them. Trust into which we have placed them. Describe this as evil and leave it at that. It's incredibly dangerous. I mean, it's hard for me to argue that that's not evil. But if we leave it at that, evil is supernatural. It's out of my control. It's a matter for God or the devil. I have no agency in the matter. These deaths were not caused by God. They're not a natural disaster. They are not the weather passing through over our communities. These are the choices that each and every single one of us have made. And far too often that choice has been in action. This is just the price I pay, we may tell ourselves, for living in the state of Texas, for being an American citizen. But this does not happen on any other country on the face of the planet. It's unique to this country, and it's worse more than almost anywhere else right here in the state of Texas. So if this tragedy, if these massacres, if these gun violent deaths are the result of inaction, then the answer from each one of us has to be action. The things that we are willing to do in our lives to change this. Tú eres la tristeza de mis ojos que lloran en silencio por tu amor. Me miro en el espejo y veo en mi rostro el tiempo que he sufrido por tu adiós.